ashes, brains, torches, pretty things, or pens. Welcome to another painting session and today we have the Tree of Woe. Um, you'll probably recognize this from the Conan movies. Um, it's not directly based on the Conan movies, it's by Reaper Miniatures, but to me it is based on the Conan movies. Um, you have Conan and you have a female, so you can have the choice of either, both of them barbarians, and they're on the tree of row. You even get the little buzzards, like in the movie. You can have it pecking. <laughs> so today we're going to get this uh, done, hopefully. And this little video will be showing you how I'm going to paint the tree. Now I am going to try and paint the tree the same as on the movie, where the base will be sand and the tree will be bleached white from the sun. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the tree and get rid of that because it's rubbish. And we're going to replace it with a nice 100mm base boss base. And I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to glue it on and I'm going to add some nice sandy gravel to the bottom. And I will come back once that's stuck together. For all the base, I have just used some uh, PVA glue and I've put it around the base. I have a little tub of sand from the beach and I am just going to use that to finish off the base. So I'm just dipping the sand and flicking the sand all around the base. If you can see without my hand being in the way, there we go. Let's try and do this uh, left handed. Yeah. Just flicking the sand on. Yeah, perfect. Tap off the sand. And just go around with our thumb to get rid of the excess. On the sides, make it nice and clean. Make it sharp. A few little bits we missed. Just Go over a little bit of sand, any parts, easy peasy. Oh, a bit of wood, don't need that. There you go. Perfect. So that's our base. Get rid of the sand. Now, once this is dry, I will give this whole mini a primer coat. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to go with a saffron yellow, um, because the sand, of course, would be painted. Um, even though I'm using sand, I'm going to paint the sand. It's quite crazy when you do a miniature. Uh, you buy the natural material, um, or collect the natural material, should I say, from the beach, which is sand, but it just doesn't look right on a miniature. Um, so what you have to do is you still have to paint the sand but you are getting that textured effect that you want so what uh, what I'll be doing is I'll paint, in, paint the sand in a saffron color and then I'll use um, a very light ink wash and then a dry brush over the top with a, a lighter white to give the Sun effect now with the tree that will be a base coat of Base coat of cream, base coat of cream, I'd say, and then I will probably go for a light brown ink wash, and then it will be a case of very heavy dry brushing of the whites, creams and whites, and heavy dry brushing whites on the tips of the tops of the tree, and that should give me the effect of the bleached tree bark effect. So we'll see how we get on with that. So I've uh, decided to go with MSP Buckskin Pale for my sandy base. I was thinking of using one of my MSP 
pale saffrons, but I think this one is a little bit too bright. So we'll go with this one um, because it is supposed to be in a very, very hot desert. So we're looking for a more of a lighter, a lighter shade. And for the tree, I am going with Army Painter Skeleton Bone. Um, once I've painted these onto the tree and the base, I will be going over the whole base and tree with um, soft tone ink wash by Army Painter. And then we'll be ready to move on to the next stage. Ah, so I've got the undercoats or the primer coats as you'd call it onto my tree. Um, I'm just waiting for them to dry now. And while that's drying, I think I shall uh, prime all these little minis uh, with some white. I normally use um, brush on primer from MSP and I'll get them all done. Um, once the tree has dried, I will then add my soft tone wash to the whole tree. So now I'm going to paint these and I will come back once they are done. Okay, uh, so now we've got the ink wash onto the tree and it's already starting to look fantastic. Uh, it's brought out all the details. Um, I've also painted the miniatures with a primer. I can get my words out there. Um, and now we shall go on to the dry brushing. For the dry brushing, I will be using the Army Painter Bad Boy. It's the old vehicle and terrain brush. So it's a fantastic brush and gets the job done. Now I will be using Skeleton Bone by MSP for my first dry brush. And I've also got some Pure White by MSP. And I intend to do a bit of a mix with the dry brushing and blend the dry brushing into one and bring out the lighter on the top of the tree. So let's get cracking on with that one. Okay, starting off with the skeleton bone. Going over the whole tree, very fast. Don't worry about the chains. Uh, the chains will be painted in later. What we're looking for is a very sunny looking desert effect on the tree. So I'm going over nice and heavily with the dry brush. Super simple. This is the Skeleton Bone by MSP. It's lighter than the Skeleton Bone by Army Painter, which makes it automatically a good color to use for your shading. Shading for your highlighting, sorry. So as you can see, Keep on doing this. You're keeping the effect of the dark recesses with the oil and the skeleton bone, the army painted skeleton bone. So what we're doing is bringing out the light source, which will be more on the top of the trees where the sun has made the bark go white over the years and years of it being in the sun now I want to 
do a tiny bit of the tiny bit of the skeleton bone onto the sand just to give it just to give a slight highlight to the texture of the surface which will mold into the tree more so I'm just quickly going over that just just a fine brush across and it just picks out the tops of the sand which again will match into the tree there you go superb Now I'm going to mix a tiny bit of the white with the skeleton. You can't actually you can't see that in the there you go. I'm mixing a little bit of the skeleton bone of the white now and taking it off. And there, yeah, nice. And we're just going to the tops of the trees. There you go. And this will give us a lovely effect. There you go. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Yes, so I'll do that again. Just a tiny bit of skeleton bone, a mixture of white. Get it off the brush. And just. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I like that. Just doing the tops of the, just the tops of the tree. Leave the bottom because that gives you a shadow effect. So we're just doing the tops, all the highest areas on the top. Imagine the sun shining down on your miniature. So we've got all the tops there. That's nice. There we go. Super fast. Super easy. Oh, I like that. That looks like a Conan tree to me. Right, there's not much more needed to this. I don't want to overdo it. I think we're about there. And now I'm just going to go straight into the white white only just the tips just the tips just the tips there we go there. nice mm. and there you are that to me is a beautiful looking tree that looks like it's been out in a desert it's a dead tree and i'm happy with that now the next part is we can paint the ropes and the chains uh, the chains of course i'll paint silver i'll give them a black ink wash and i will then give them a brown ink wash to make them look old and rusty rope i will paint in with um, a lighter brown and then give them a wash and then a, a little dry brush to give them the worn effect um, the base I think the base is nice as it is of course I will finish the base off with black um, I might add a skull to the bottom of the base we'll see we'll see how we get on so anyway the next part for me is I shall paint the two minis and um, We'll paint the the uh, buzzards. Now the two barbarians, very very simple to paint. We shall be going with a fine uh, skin tone, and that will be covered with an army painter wash of flesh wash. And the little what oh, can't remember the names of those now. What do they call their little skirts? <laughs> The little wraparounds. There we painted brown with a little bit of highlighting. And of course the buzzards. They'll have their little pink heads and necks. And they'll have some browns and some browns. Browns? Some blacks and some browns. Oh, I'm losing it today. So, I will go wash my brushes. And 
make myself a cup of coffee, and I will be right back. Alright, for the Barbarians, I am going to be using Fair Skin from MSP. For the Loin Cloth, I shall be using some polished leather. So I'm going to try and get these done now. Uh, once I have applied the uh, skin tone and the polished leather, I will be giving them a wash with Army Painter Flesh Wash. Uh, this is my favourite uh, flesh wash and I use it on all my minis. Fantastic stuff. Totally recommend. Um, what I'll do is once I've got those minis painted and the flesh wash on and they are dried, I will probably add a very slight blush to the skin by adding a slight red, uh, a red skin tone. Uh, because they're in the heat, they're being hung up, they're going to be blistering, they're going to be in pain. So adding some red sunburn to you know the tops of the arms, things like that, I think that will give a really nice effect. So I'm going to get these painted up and I'll come back once I've finished painting up the minis and I will go through what's next. So I've painted the two minis now. Um, I did the uh, flesh wash on top of the skin and I have stuck Conan to the tree using some super glue. Um, the rope I went for a grey and then went over with um, a brown ink wash and a slight dry brush over the ropes chain I, I went for uh, chainmail silver with um, a black ink wash and the ropes here I still got to put the ink wash onto uh, loincloth is done and the skin and the skin tone highlight is done as well now that's just a case of using your uh, skin tone with your wash and then carrying on with a layer of your skin tone your original skin tone for the highlights uh, which was my um, fair skin sorry um, now I told you I want to do a red to the skin to give the effect of sunburn and you know pain so what I'm using now is I have some Vallejo uh, wash, which this is their red wash. And I will use that just to highlight the tops of the skin on the Conan Mini. I have a little bit already on my palette here. I'm using a detail brush from, um, from Army Painter. And I'm just taking a tiny bit. I'm gonna add it to the raised areas of the Mini. Looks like it's been there. The sun's been beating down on him, and he's starting to—he's <laughs> starting to turn lobster red. So we're just going for the highest areas again. caps and the thighs and the little toes the skin's starting to peel off his toes <laughs> oh, that's not good there you go I like that there we are. just the highest areas where all the sun's beating down on him Yes, I like that. That's good. Let's see if we can get a closer look on the mini. There we are. So now he's totally, totally burnt out on the tree now. Now all I need to do is add the buzzards, buzzards once they're done. Um, the buzzards again, I will be going for a traditional brains pink from MSP. And that's what I'll be using for the heads. And then I'll be going for black bodies and a slight bit of brown. 
and I will give them a dry brush just to highlight them um, and pick out the details. Uh, not much really needed, but I will come back. It's a bit too small to paint on the screen. So I will paint these and I will come back, stick the buzzards on, and I will show you the finished miniature. Here we have the uh, completed tree of woe. And I'm very happy how this turned out. Um, all the buzzards are now stuck on with super glue onto the tree. Um, Conan's looking well pissed off. <laughs> Someone save me! <laughs> um, I added a little bit of foliage to the base. Um, I think this is ready for uh, photographs now. Um, yes, um, this is as much as I'm going to do with this miniature. Um, next week I shall be starting on Mossbeard. Um, that's another huge mini by Reaper Miniatures. And that'll be another day paint and I will do a nice little video on how I paint that miniature. Um, I hope you're enjoying these little videos and um, well, until next time.